Every morning at 50 past the hour, we're going to open our classroom. We know there's a lot of homeschooling going on right now, and so we're going to teach you all things science at 50 past the hour. Question today comes from Brian. What is the actual temperature rain turns to snow? Now, this is a bit of a complicated question, but what we're going to do is give you kind of a layman term type of answer because you've got to look at temperature, you have to look at dew point temperatures, there's so many factors, but let's just stick with the basics for today and we can go to our, you know, 201 class tomorrow with it. So obviously if you look at the atmosphere, which by the way is like a hamburger, we live in, this is the bottom bun, right, where we live, and then you go all the way up with the different layers, you have to look at the different layers because the temperature temperature can actually be different through all these layers, say the burger part, then the tomato, the lettuce, all the way to the top bun. Now, if you have, let's look at our next one here. If you have warm air, but it's cold right at the surface, you get freezing rain. And then of course, the deeper layer of cold that you get, you have the ability to get snow throughout. But that's not the only factor. It's not that simple, right? Let's look at some places here. Springfield, 35 rain and snow. Yet Albany is 35 in snow, and Syracuse is 35 in rain. That'll make you scratch your head, right? And not just because you got an itch up there. Let's take a closer look at, again, the profile, as we call it, of the atmosphere. Remember, the atmosphere is like a hamburger. So here we are at the bottom bun right here, and then you go up. We're only going up 18,000 feet, so the meat layer, lettuce, tomato. Notice that we have cold air all the way through that meat layer, right? And just at the bottom, it's 35, but because you have all that cold air, that snow is actually able to make it to the ground because that warm layer is so, so thin, okay? Now, if you look at Springfield Mass, notice we have warm air not only at the bottom bun, but also the meat layer. So your warmer level is much thicker, and so though we've got snow at 10,000 feet up around the tomato layer, it's going to melt once it hits this thicker, warmer layer. Now, we want your questions about the weather and other science, any science questions too. Send us to social media, either tagging AMHQ or using the hashtag WeatherWisdom, and we'll answer them every day at 50 past the hour.